Okay, so here we have a non-stick fry pan and a stainless steel one, obviously. Yeah. Why would I, would I have both in my perfect kitchen or would I have one of each or what's the difference? Sort of, as we said earlier, personal preference because they both will act slightly different. Okay. The cooking methods are different for both. Right. So let's say starting off with a, a steak, you're going to fry a steak. With a stainless steel skillet, it is going to stick, but whatever caramelises the bottom of the pan, yeah. you then create a sauce from it. So it will oh, actually okay. all lift up. Okay. Um, because I would have always thought, for example, I would fry eggs on that but I would yep. do a steak on there, but I'd never right. do fish on there because it would fall apart. Exactly. So is that yeah. the sort So of thing? anything that obviously won't get damaged by sticking, yep. you can use a French skillet for. So more, yep. more robust sorts exactly. of Exactly, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, because I hadn't thought about the deglazing yeah. thing. Yeah, you see a lot of chefs, a lot of professional chefs do it. They put mm. a stock in, it lifts everything off the bottom, red wine, reduce it. That is the glazing process yeah. and the sauce for your dish. Yeah, beautiful. So, this is a beautiful looking shiny pan. It is. But how does it stay that way? So, this stainless steel pan, it is stainless steel, but it's not stain proof. Okay. Um, so you don't want to leave any acidic sort of ingredients or tomatoes or lemon sauce in there. Do give it a wash out straight after use. Yep, I mean, do well, you need to get a scour and scrub it to death? No, no, no. Um, what you can do is yeah. once you've finished cooking with it, yeah. um, put it back on the hob uh, with some hot soapy water, bring it back up to the boil. Right. And then you can actually even buy powders and paste to help get it back to its perfect condition. Like this? This is one that we sell in store. Cook so you can paste. get that at any store. Uh, and that also comes in a powder form. And what so, do you do with it? Just rub yeah, it on? Rub it on, bring the water and the paste up to a boil, let it settle for a minute. Just go out and buy one of your um, nylon pads and you'll be able to knock all the grime up and bring it back. And what about this? Right, so what that is, that's a nylon brush. All the bristles are made of nylon. Nylon will never damage any of your cookware. Um, right. It actually has a thumb press on the back and a little nylon strip. So they do encourage you to really get in there and clean your that's cookware. Because it's not going to put a scratch or a dent in any of it. Now I need to know everything there is to know about non-stick. Sure thing, let's do this.